Should the Sabres make a deal at the trade deadline? And if so, for who? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Sports Talk Buffalo. Before we go any further, I want to remind you guys to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. I talk Bills, Sabres, and the University at Buffalo men's basketball and football right here on this page. Also remember to check out some cool merch. The links are in the description below. The trade deadline in the NHL is fast approaching and the Buffalo Sabres could potentially be buyers. You heard that right. The Buffalo Sabres could potentially be buyers at the trade deadline. They are right in the thick of things and at time of recording, they are three points out of a playoff spot in the NHL, ending the longest streak in the history of the NHL without being in the playoffs. The Sabres are right behind the first and second wild card teams to make the playoffs. And again, at the time of recording this, they sit just three points out. But the big thing is they have a ton of games in hand. They have one game in hand on the Pittsburgh Penguins, and they have five games in hand against the New York Islanders, something that the Sabres will absolutely have to take advantage of if they are going to stand a chance to potentially sneaking in to that last playoff spot, a spot that a big chunk of teams in the Eastern Conference are fighting for. There is probably about five teams trying to get into those last two spots. It is going to be a very exciting last third of the season if you are a Buffalo Sabres fan. Now the Sabres sit at 28, 22, and 4 overall. And with the trade deadline roughly two weeks away, you have to ask yourself, should the Sabres be aggressive and make a move in an attempt to bolster their roster heading into the final stretch of this NHL season and make a playoff push? Or should Kevin Adams, the GM, sit back and try to let the boys finish what they started at the beginning of this season and get themselves somewhere where I don't think anyone believed they could be, and that is in the NHL playoffs. Now, at first thought, most people will probably say, absolutely, and I was in that camp, that you have to make a move to try to bolster this roster, get them going in the, or continue them going in the right direction, give them an opportunity, every opportunity, to make it into the NHL playoffs and end the longest streak, as I mentioned earlier, in NHL history. It now sits at 11 seasons. If they don't make it this year, it will be 12 seasons that the Sabres have not made the playoffs. However, lately, the Sabres have started to get fully healthy Guys have stayed healthy, and they are now beginning to kind of see what this team can be as the season progresses. Yes, you're going to give up a lot of opportunities because it's a young team, and it's a fast team. It is a team that wants to go north-south, so you're going to give up some opportunities on the back end. However, with Yoki Haru starting to round into top four Uh, defenseman form, and with Samuelson being healthy and Darlene in power, the Sabres are looking okay. Now Labushkin and Clegg on the back end, they're okay pieces. They're not a bad third pair. But do you believe that they could possibly finish what they started early in the season and make the NHL playoffs? And uh, And one of the things that you could potentially say is, if Kevin Adams does not make a move at the trade deadline. Does this give his young team confidence heading into the final stretch that, yes, we know where you started, we see where you are, 
and we believe that you can get the job done. We don't have to add any more pieces and give them that kind of confidence moving forward to play their game and to not be afraid to make mistakes, not be afraid to score lots of goals and just go out there, let it all hang out, play loose, play fast and win more games. That is something that I should uh, that I absolutely believe should be on the forefront of Kevin Adams' mind heading into the trade deadline. However, if the Sabres were to make a trade at the deadline or make a deal at the deadline, here are two players that I would want them to target as both players are rumored to be on the trade block via the TSN article that I read a few short days ago. The first player is a former fifth overall pick in 2008. He's a right-handed D-man, 33-year-old Luke Shen. I like this deal to go after for the Sabres to go after him for multiple reasons. Starting with Shen having a ton of NHL experience, which could be beneficial down the stretch for a very, very, very young Buffalo Sabres team who has never been in this position before. His experience could be invaluable for the Sabres to be able to calm themselves in stressful situations and not continue to compound on mistakes that they make during games. That is something that a veteran like Shen could bring to the Buffalo Sabres back end. Shen also provides something that the Sabres have basically none of, and that is physicality. Shen has averaged over four hits per game the last two seasons for the Vancouver Canucks. He has been a very, very strong player for them, and he can still play top four minutes at the age of 33 as he's averaging over 17 minutes per game. And lastly, and not even lastly, he could also provide some offense for the Buffalo Sabres. Shen has 21 points so far this season in 55 games played. And last season, he had 17 points in 66 games played. So that shows that, yes, he is all he is a very defensive defenseman. He has the physicality that I believe the Buffalo Sabres desperately, desperately need, especially if they do make the playoffs. As we all know, the playoffs are a completely different animal. They will need that physicality in the playoffs. And he also has the ability to chip in offensively once in a while. At 33 years old, he has played a or he has played in multiple playoff games, over 30 playoff games. He's chipped in, has won a Stanley Cup. He is a very, very good veteran defenseman. If the Sabres were to go out and get sort of a rental player at the trade deadline, Shen is a UFA, and I don't believe he would cost the Sabres very much in terms of draft capital if they wanted to go after him and bring in somebody to bolster their top four or maybe even just their third pair defensemen to help round out their defensive corps heading into the last third of this season. Now, the second player that I would love the Sabres to potentially go after who is uh, rumored to be on the trade block is another defensive defenseman, six foot three, 210 pound Andrew Peaky. Peaky fits in more so with the Sabres youth as he is just 24 years old. He turns 25 in March or at the end of March, I believe, and he averages over 20 minutes a game with the Columbus Blue Jackets. No, his numbers are not stellar. I believe he has something like eight points on the season, but that's not really what you are looking for when you go out and make a trade for a guy like Peaky. You are going after him for his ability to be a more of a lockdown defender. He is very strong, big kid, 
plays the puck well. He adds some physicality as he averages 2.2 hits per game over the last two seasons with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He is also very good at blocking shots as he averages over two blocks per game for the Columbus Blue Jackets in his last two seasons. So somebody else that could kind of take help take the pressure off of the goalies making so many saves as he is able to get his body in front of pucks and willing to get his body in front of pucks. <clears throat> and lastly, if you were to make a trade for Peaky, Peaky has a contract that is good until 2025-26 season with a decent cap hit of 2.75 million per season. Not a terrible cap hit for a young player who has a couple years left on his contract. You can bring him in as part of this youth movement and help have him grow with the rest of the team. He adds a little bit of experience. He's playing over 20 minutes a game in Columbus. He blocks shots. He hits. He will drop the gloves occasionally or he can drop the cl- the gloves. He has multiple fights in the NHL. Somebody that the Sabres desperately need on the back end. They need somebody who is strong defensively to go with their two-way defenseman in Rasmus Dahlin and Owen Power. Samuelson can play with Dahlin. We've seen that all year long. You put somebody like Peaky with Owen Power so that he has somebody to cover up for him on the back end when he decides to jump into the play. You can put Yoki Haru down on that third pairing with Labushkin. This way, you have a puck-moving defenseman with a defensive defenseman on every single pair that you have, and you can roll all three pairs without feeling the need to overwork the first or second pair for the Buffalo Sabres going down this very, very difficult stretch in the last part of the season. Now, when the trade deadline comes, if they make any trades, I would love them to add one of these two guys, as I believe neither of them will be that expensive and potentially have that many guys looking for him. Both of them are right-handed D-men, something the Sabres desperately need. And either of these players would be a very good addition for this Buffalo Sabres team. However, if the Sabres make no moves at all, I am honestly okay with that too. As it says to the young guys, as I mentioned earlier, we believe in you. Go out and get the job done. That's going to do it for this video. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. Again, I talk Bills, Sabres, and the University at Buffalo men's basketball and football teams right here on this page. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic week.